The only way I can be beat is if you cheat. If you cheat. If you play fair and square, I'm going to win. <laughs> I mean... Hey, what up, babes? Welcome back. It's Barb City, where it be hella mother effing litty. Let's go on ahead and get into it. Before we do, as always, remember, when in doubt, pull that mother effing blunt out. Please fill my chat with hashtag BCG, money bags, or unicorns for good vibes, okay? Our first topic is going to be about 77 cents, calling out ice chip for copying her. So before we get into it, I just have to say this, right? There was a time when I felt like Lotto was copying Ice Spice. And I feel like the reason why I felt that way off top is because <clears throat> that is simply what we know Lotto for, right? Ever since she was on Rap Game, she's always copied people. She's always taken lyrics and flows and all kinds of things um recently taking Nicki Minaj's lyrics that weren't even a year old so I feel like that's just what I knew her for so I automatically felt like Ice Spice was right and Lotto was the one copying her but now since I look back and you know especially now I feel like Ice Spice is the problem you guys I feel like they were both shading each other, but when it comes down to the copying thing, I do feel like Ice Spice has been copying Lotto because when you go back and you look at the timeline, um, it's just clear as day that Ice Spice is the problem. And I feel like she's doing exactly what she was doing to Nicki Minaj. You know that stylist not only exposed her, um, but Ice Spice said herself that she trolls the girls, she stalks the girls and things like that. So the stylist saying that her plan was to troll Nicki Minaj by taking all of her wigs and her styles and things like that. I feel like that's the same exact energy that she's giving 77 cents. But anyways, you guys. Um, Lotto posted this right here to her Instagram story, right? This is an old photo of her. Y'all know she's been doing this cheetah print thing ever since she was called out for allegedly wearing the same panties, okay? Um, as you guys can see here in a new music video that Ice Spice put out, she is wearing the literal exact same outfit. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, so what, you know... Um, they didn't only make the outfit for Lotto and things like that. But <clears throat> I just simply don't feel like this is a coincidence, especially if you see the video that's gone around of all the times Ice Spice has done this to Lotto. I don't know. It's just a little creepy. But anyways, I've been rambling on. Let's go on ahead and get into Summer Walker. And I believe Lil Scrappy, y'all. So... Lil Scrappy decided to shoot his shot at Summer Walker. Check this out. To a Summer Walker, I should have been there. I've been there. Hello, you did. Hello, earpiece girl. I was standing there. I didn't play with you. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling baby. First of all, that was such a cringe. Embarrassing. Okay. Anyways, what's with all these like little scrappies and uh, what's the last one she was just dating? I can't even meet or whatever, little meet. What's with all these thems trying to get with Summer Walker? Back the fuck up and I'm gonna do you like Will Smith. This is my nook. And yes, I said thems because they are a certain type and I just can't put my finger on it. Anyways, let's get to some of those comments. You guys know the fans were basically like back up off of Summer Walker. She does not need another um, piece of crap baby daddy, right? And then some people, y'all know, they like when Summer Walker be going through things because they feel like she drops her best music during those times so 
the first comment saying um, she might go. Summer Walker loves her. A good, foolish relationship with somebody she have no damn business with. Probably give him a baby too. He might have a chance because Summer don't have no type at all. And one more person said, no, sir. The last thing Ed Summer Walker needs is another fertile end like real little Scrappy to knock her up again, LOL. But we might get a fire album. Hmm, I don't know. So if you are a fan of Summer Walker, let me know what you guys feel about that. Do you guys feel like Summer Walker would give Scrappy the time of day? How do you guys feel like that will turn out? And do you guys feel like it might end in a good album? Let's go on ahead and move forward into Jocelyn Hernandez and Natalie Nunn. So Zeus Network decided to gift um, Jocelyn Hernandez three Chanel bags for her five seasons that she has on Zeus, right? And Natalie Nunn decided to throw some shade after Jocelyn Hernandez posted the videos. But we're going to get into it. Check Jocelyn's video out first. Hold on, hold on. What does that say? What? Jocelyn, what does that say? Oh you got three oh. channels. Oh my God. <laughs> I was going to get you five, five seasons, but I said, you know what? Uh, Wait a minute, you got three channels? Let me do three seasons, I'll get you two more seasons later. Oh my god! Congratulations on season five. Oh my god. You got three of them things? Uh-uh, uh-uh. No. Like, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm not, 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 I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> So, first of all, you guys, it's literally him mocking Jocelyn, calling them channel bags. The way you're... I'm not trying to laugh, y'all know. I'm never sure. It's not funny. Stop laughing. Anyways, this is what Natalie Nunn then uploaded to her Instagram story. Check it out. Uh, I mean, I have all the bags in the world. So at this point, I just want more jewelry. <laughs> you feel me? I mean, the bags are cute and shit, but every season I get all the bags. <laughs> So that is obvious shade to Jocelyn Hernandez. And this is my thing, right? Baddies is doing their thing. Natalie's doing her thing. She's turning it up. She's a hustler. All that good stuff. I get it. But at the same time, the girl, her energy is just stank. Like, baddies would be absolutely nothing without um, Jocelyn's cabaret and Natalie Nunn needs to stay humble and give Jocelyn her mother effing tens. Hey, y'all hoes be raggedy as fuck. Raggedy, raggedy, raggedy. So I definitely appreciate Zeus for appreciating Jocelyn Hernandez because I definitely feel like people try to downplay her as far as, you know, what she did to get Zeus to where they're at. I know that they were already there, but they were not pulling these numbers in before Jocelyn. And the baddies would not be here without Jocelyn at the end of the day. So although the show is doing good now, congratulations to them on that. Like I said, it would be nothing without Jocelyn's cabaret. And we're going to go on ahead and give Jocelyn her mother effing flowers out. Just just, just give a bitch her, her roses, though. I mean, you know I love just you, give man. a bitch her roses. Like, you know what I'm saying? I did. Now, let's go on ahead and move forward and add some razzle dazzle onto this video and get into someone trying to call Nicki Minaj a liar when she was promoting her shoe brand, okay? And it basically being debunked, okay? 
Um, as you guys can see here, Nicki Minaj uploaded this to her Twitter, right? And it's a cyber truck. I believe that's what those are called. And of course, it has her shoe brand on it. It's pink. It has her name, all that good stuff, right? And it is obviously AI, okay? So as you guys could see here, somebody then um, brought something that looks like Nicki Minaj's photo and said, lie again, B word, right? Well, look at this photo that I just showed you of the one that Nicki Minaj posted on her Twitter. You see the reader's added context right there? Let's get into it. It says, this image promotes Nicki Minaj's low C brand and DTRL stores collaboration. While the image uses an AI aesthetic, it is official. The Tesla Cybertruck um, exists in real life and can be seen in front of DTRL stores, meaning Nicki Minaj is not lying about absolutely anything. And if you will, look at the screen and check this out. All right, so I here, guys, when you walk in, here's the car in the front. Backdrop, we're going to have fans sign that so she can keep it. There will be personal messages. You'll see the windows here. Awesome. Windows here, all the mannequins address. Sign it here. Sign it here. DJ booth and area playing videos. Also, when you first walk in, there's a nine foot digital screen. There's also the free gifts for purchase display table. So we'll have people pick that. When you come into the zone and area, you can definitely download the app for DCLR radio. We have full displays, full displays here. Everyone's wearing the shoes, every mannequin. And we also have a few other moments here. So we're just fixing the last couple of touches. And then this is where we'll do interviews and things like that. Okay. Now, name one of the other girlies that are doing it like this. That what? Yeah. what happened? No what was smoke. that? What was that? Now, with that being said, um, Little Wayne has finally broken his silence on the whole Super Bowl situation, and Nicki Minaj did have something to say about that. But first, let me play this clip. It is about two minutes long, so bear with me. Check it out. First of all, I want to say forgive me for uh, forgive me for. The delay, um, the delay on, I mean, just the delay, I want to say, uh, I had to first of all, I had to get strength, I had to get strength enough to do this without breaking. Um, I must say thank you. I must say thank you to every voice, every opinion, all the care, all the love and the support out there is, your, your words turn into to arms and, and held me up when, when I try to fall back. Um, that hurt, hurt a lot, you know what I'm talking about, it hurt a whole lot, um, I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown, and for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that, but I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that, that, that spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And um, so it hurt, it hurt a whole lot. Um, but y'all, Y'all are fucking amazing. It made me feel like shit not getting this this opportunity. And when I felt like shit, you guys reminded me that I ain't shit without y'all. And, and that's an amazing reality. So, like I said, it broke me. And I'm just trying to put me back together. But my God, have you all helped me. Thanks to all my peers, my friends, my family. 
Yeah, my homies on sports television, everybody repping me. I really appreciate that. I really do. I feel like I let all of y'all down by not getting that opportunity. But I'm working on me. And I'm working. So thank you. So, um, as you guys can see there, it did bother Lil Wayne that this happened. Um, he did appreciate everybody, including Nicki Minaj, that spoke out for him. And like I said in my video on this, it is very, very unfortunate that that was taken away from him. I don't believe anybody deserved to be able to do the Super Bowl in New Orleans except for Lil Wayne like he is a true legend and he simply deserved that at the end of the day but um it was a one in a lifetime chance and unfortunately he will not be able to get that so I understand why he would say that it broke him but Let's get into what Nicki Minaj had to say so we can go on ahead and get up out of here. Um, this too shall pass, but what you have done for the hip hop culture will remain. It will stand the test of time. Many times our greatest and most dehumanizing test is just a way for God to get the glory. You were simply used in a war of egos to people who are empty inside. All they have is their temporary power. Now, every day, these wicked people are spending money to circulate the worst of you. But the Lord will nullify each and every single attempt. And not only will it return to cinder, it will be replaced with the best of you. You are human. They are not and never will be perfect. And when they go out of their way to circulate the worst of human beings, the worst of them shall be circulated and magnified too. It will be their demise. The Lord has warned them time and time again. Their stone cold hearts believe they are abr above reapproach, or excuse me, reproach, but this time they'll regret it. So Barb City, mother effing blooper rolls. I know I made some mistakes, but at the end of the day, um, obviously Nicki Minaj does not care who speaks up for her. Um, she could, you know, remain true to herself and still stand up for the people that she loves and that she says she has loyalty to. Anyways, with all of that being said, I love you guys so much. Thanks.